Okay, everyone, I'm going to try to make this one short and sweet. Uh, just one of the nails in the coffin to end the argument about Judas Iscariot. Uh, every lordship, salvation, self ethic lost false teacher has always argued that Judas was saved and he lost his salvation. They have no, they have absolutely, positively no biblical basis for that whatsoever. All they go off of is their eisegesis, their false eisegesis of the scripture, rather than exegesis, the ex actual way you're supposed to interpret it. And no hermi no uh, sound hermeneutics at all they have. Uh, they just go off of what they are, their presupposition, their, uh, their premise of uh, Judas automatically losing salvation, like he was saved, just because he was a disciple. When all they have to do is read the scripture and read it, simply read it, okay? John chapter 6. Verse 64, But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and should betray him. Okay. And there's the other scripture. Uh, have not I, down here at 70, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil? wonder who that's talking about. Right, we know. It's Judas Iscariot. So he some of you that believe not in 64 and he knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him now let's switch back over here to John 18 then you go to verse 9 that the saying might be fulfilled which he spake of them which thou givest me have I lost none okay simple argument here should show shed light on this is if Judas Iscariot was actually saved like all of the salvific lost false teachers claim he was, well then Christ would have lost him. Christ would have lost, lost and, lose, and would be losing millions of people, right? If you could just lose your salvation at whim, like they teach. So this is a simple proof to show Judas was never saved. First verse I was showing, 60, uh, 64, but there are some of you that believe not. Jesus knew who did not believe from the beginning and who should betray him. Talking about Judas. Okay? And then down here in 70, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is the devil? Now does that sound like a saved person? Does that sound like a person that uh, believes, basically? No, it's not. Okay? And then you go to 9. That the saying might be fulfilled of them which thou givest me, I have lost none. Okay? So, there you go. He will lose none. He says, all that the Father gives me, I shall lose none. Well, the salvific lost false teachers teach that Judas was given to Christ by the Father. Well, then he would have had to lose him, right? But Jesus said he never lost anybody. So what's that saying? Judas was never part of Christ. Judas was never a true believer, right? Because if he had been, he would have been lost like they teach you know, they, they teach that, oh, he, he was, say, he believed and he lost, lost it. No, <laughs> he never believed, okay? Now, this is, keep in mind, this is before the cross, this is before the Holy Spirit came to uh, abide in a person forever, right? To be sealed by the Spirit. Um, but that absolutely, positively has no bearing on whether Judas believed or not. Because it shows right here. In the first verse, uh, in 64, some of you that believe not, okay, and from the beginning they believe not, right, and we all know the underhandedness Judas was, you know, stealing and all that stuff, but even had he been doing that and actually believed on Christ, he would have been okay, but he never did believe, guys, he walked with Christ, uh, he was one of the twelve, and Jesus even said, have I not chosen you twelve and one of you is the devil? chose a devil. Christ chose a devil. Okay? Speaking of Judas. Right? It's the son of perdition. All of this was in God, was God's plan. It was meant to happen. Right? But Judas did this by his own volition and his own free will. But he never truly trusted on Christ. Okay? The Bible teaches that clearly. Alright? Jesus said he's lost none. Alright? If Judas was actually one of them, he would have had to have lost, lost him. Okay, so sorry for my stumbling over my words, but there's just a simple argument you can show them too. 
uh, albeit they probably will not listen to you because they do not want to. If you show any example of a person being a t saved eternally and not losing their salvation, or a person that was never actually saved, they hate it. They don't want to. They don't want to see that. Right. But uh, God bless you guys, and I'll let you go. And uh, I hope this uh, little teaching of Judas never being saved helps. Love you guys. Thank you.